Bruins answer back in the bottom of the first. Bobby, that's one of the quickest answers I've ever seen. Just like that, the Marlins take the lead. Julie, his brother, Lourdes, hit a big home run last <laughs> night for Arizona. So he wasn't going to be outdone by him. Yuli has that uh, out front a little bit. But that swing won him a bat batting title a few years ago, too. Yuli's first home run since May. It's like one of those uh, pay per view heavyweight. Knocked down by Schuster, finds it. But here it is for the Braves in this one. Rosario Harris, the second, and pull. Down and into Garrett Hampson. Some mentioned the fact that he was a little cold at the plate, but mm -hmm. here he is hitting. You know, maybe not the guy on paper you'd put in that cleanup spot. Fuck it up. And as we talked about in our open, the fact that. Yeah, every. And it has been home to watch the out-of-town score. Because <laughs> you're not doing that when you're at the yard. A doubleheader in Colorado today. And Jazz takes on the edge for a strike. The 0 one to Jazz. Talked about Jazz's. Off the end of the bat, roller towards second. One, Jazz. I was asking Jazz, by the way, when he got that base hit last night. Birdie's first. And it's three and one. Not to mention a seven game hitting streak now. There goes Jazz on the three two. Birdie is swing and miss. And the first pitch strike. All right, so take me inside the mind of Brian Hoeing. Writes about him, works through the inning, but then the Marlins come back and get four, so he goes out for inning number two. And I think the fact that he was able to retire the last three hitter mentally spot, but he well, if you could play a little game top of that list, that, that might be the number one. <laughs> Into shallow left center and. No idea. It's just amazing because he's he's going into no man's land. He can hear foot dirt bag, always a dirt bag. <laughs> Long Beach State. That's where he went, and they're called the tired by hoeing as he faces Kevin Pilar. Pitching this year. Toward third, but foul. Nice ball players, 34, about 10 years in the league, 32nd round, signed for $1,000, still going strong. No swings. Uh, Ramos at third, Adrian Johnson is the crew chief behind home plate today. And a ride. Suit up this season at MLBShop.com. Check out the largest selection. One hat is like available that. in the ballpark. Yeah, you know, I can see you wearing that out in the yard doing some. Minervini has one of those. He wears it on his yacht. Of course. Well, one ball, one strike. Harris grounds it to first. Guriel's got it. The flip to Humper. Cohen. Dad, Dad, did you see those two home runs by Luis Arise? He looks it up. Getting more and more of that down here in South Florida. Got some dad love. <laughs> Hit for Jacob. And there have been seemingly more and more of those just to see him come through at the dish as he grounds this one to third for Riley. Across the diamond for pitches, but all to right field. How about that? Uh, a sinker, a changeup in the stands. Wonder if he moved over. 
Line drive to short. He, he'd been mired in a little two for 18. So you get him hot again. And we'll take it down. One ball, one strike. Two one from Schuster. And grounded foul to even. Yeah, a lot of praise coming out by the Braves in 2020 out of Wake Forest. Picks up the strikeout of Bell, and he too back in it. One, two, three as we go to the third. So regardless of the score, it was going to be fun today, but it's been Albies right center field, and look out. And there's one away. Now that festive atmosphere may have played in. Well, that's right. We talk about that a lot. It's it's very frustrating as an outfielder. Went deep in the first. That is a foul ball. So, as Hutt mentioned, it would. <laughs> called strike three right on the corner. Much freer. He's got he got a good rhythm going right now. Who has 21 this year as a Brave. And they are hitting home runs like. Takes one outside. Outside of the home runs for. And some quick math will tell you that he is a, a mere. Right field. Whole series and last of the season series between these two clubs. Charlie Morton goes for the Braves. Jesus Luzardo to chopper towards short for Hampson to get Ozu. Marlins by a run. Lined out, twisting around and having a ball. Pol Second and field power. That ball really carried over the head of Pilar on a pitch up. He Yuli Guriel. Takes one down low. Well, Berger with the double. And speaking of heads up, if you plan on coming out to Lone Depot Park. You and I know what we can have for dinner. Run, home run, his first time up. Takes one down and away, 3-0. and oh. Four pitch walk, Marlins have two. Start to this bottom of the third for the Marlins. Brings up Jesus Sanchez, and it swimming. Minecraft will take all of them. Bouncer to Frill gets doubled up. Yeah, I, I, I like the effort and the the thought behind Hayes. So two away for Hampson. Takes one in the dirt. Stop Scotch out of the way. Beckett. Ideally, you'd like to go the other way. You'd like to drop one down up the third base. Berger at second, and Hampson takes a high strike, two and one. And a base hit right coming around third, throwing and. And it doesn't matter where Garrett Hansen, Ham, Hampson starts. It seems by Jake Berger. And the thought I've had twice when potential for a run on or off the board. Another run on the board for the Marlins, five to three. Brings up Jazz, shows Bunt, and able to pull it back in time. And drops down the butt. Schuster's got it. Flips to oh. Schuster does everything right. Been a nice six. He's trying to score. You need to help him out. Jazz on the move. That one a chopper towards short. RC at a first. But the Marlins get another and lead it 5-3 after three.